Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. It's raining here in Ireland. I'm in the shed. I wanted to be on my roof fixing it, but uh, instead I'm in here in the shed and I'm going to make a short roof ladder. I need one about six foot tall, so here we go. So today I want to root this 6x2 timber. I've got a Black & Decker workmate with a 9 inch Makita saw bolted underneath and I can wind it in and out, you know, with this part here. I've, I've stuck on some 2x1 timber and by winding this I can make the fence go in and out, you know, to determine the, the distance of the cuts. So that's it, rough and ready and I have it actually bolted to the floor so that it'll, um, it'll stay in position. Other than that it's very unstable. So safety first, here we go. So that's it, it's fairly dusty in here, I'm going to open the shed door, let some of this dust out, let it settle and come back in a few minutes. Now the rails are about 3 inches wide, the rungs are 2 and a quarter inches. You can make them any thickness you want or make it out of anything you want. Literally I'm knocking this up out of what I have in the shed today and I want to use it in the morning. I want it to be strong, I don't want when I get on it, you know, to be on the ground um, again. <laughs> so anyway, the plan is to, um, to notch the rails and put the rungs into it and then put screws through that. So it'll be nice and strong. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do at the top. I needed to go over the ridge of the house and catch the roof on the far side. Now my professionally built ladders have a kind of a, a hoop thing that, that goes over that. Um, I don't have any materials here for making that but I'll see what I have and I'll see what I can come up with. But at the moment I'll get the ladder fashioned first and then I'll get on it, you know, get on about making some sort of contraption to, to grab the other side of the roof. Um, okay, so right now I need these, um, the treads, the, the rungs on the ladder, I need them to be 16 inches and I need six of them, maybe seven. So we'll see, I'll just see what it's like when I, I make it. I'm not sure how long it's going to be yet, exactly, it'll be five, six or seven feet, <laughs> we'll see. So 16 inches and we need six or seven of them. So here we go. Here most first. So let me measure 16, okay, I have a mark, now just move that in a bit. And I'm just going to use the first one as a template so that they're all exactly the same length. I'll just come down, bring the two of them out together, put the ends together, slide the whole thing across and then slide it back to the blade. Okay. Right, so that's the cut one and this is the template. Um, we put a T on it, just so I can separate them out. So now I need to dress the, uh, the rails, cut the notches in the rails. So we'll do those together. Again, I need to dress the ends of these. These are different lengths as well, so let's see what we have. Now, remember, I need five or six feet, that's it. So these turn out to be, this one is eight feet, and the one on the inside is just a few inches short of that. So I'll clean up the ends and we'll make this about six feet. Now you'd really want overhead cameras for this. I don't have it set up for that at the moment. And uh, I just want to kind of get this together. All right. So we've 11 inch centers and we want to cut it that width. That's about 55 mil. So. Let's 
square off that now. Now I'm just going to move the saw, it's in the way, um, you know, cameras and the whole lot, so we'll just do that now. Okay, so there you have it. There's my ladder. Uh, all eight feet of it. I said it was going to make it five or six feet. Turns out to be eight feet. But I'll just chop off what I, I don't intend to use. You know, I'm not sure. Um, I let some of it maybe go up over the, the apex of the roof. So we'll see. Anyway, I need to make some sort of an attachment to get me over the apex so that I'm not resting on the ridge tiles. Now, uh, just so you can see it, you know, this was done with notches. I cut notches out of the timber the whole way down so that the, uh, the rungs are sitting in you know, they're sitting in slots as well as being screwed, they're very strong. These turned out to be about two and a quarter inches. This is about three inches and they're by two inches wide or two inches thick. So that's that. Okay, so the plan is to get this going if the weather is bad tomorrow. If the weather is good, I'm up on the roof. Maybe I'll bring drones and all sorts of stuff up <laughs> and go mental with cameras. I don't know. We'll see. But look, I do intend getting the waste oil boiler working and that's going to happen within the next day or two. So that's it for now, I'm going to end it there. If you like the video, please thumbs up, that's great, I love all the support. Subscribe down here if you haven't already subscribed, if you have, thanks very much, I really appreciate the support. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.